Former Secretary of Finance David Attalig went before the House Committee investigating the Boost program. However, there are still more questions than answers as Attalig pleads the fifth. Thank you for being very clear about pleading the fifth and your right as an individual. You and we respect that. However, as the Secretary of Finance are receiving a check in the government, taxpaying dollars, they are paying you to be accountable, transparent, truthful, and honest with funds, whether it be external or internal, in your capacity of Secretary of Finance. Correct? Yes or no? On the advice of my attorney, I respectfully respond to your question by asserting my Fifth Amendment right under the United States Constitution as well as Sinai Constitution, Article 1, Section 4C. His responses are a far cry from this 2022 interview with KUAM when the previous legislature investigated Boost. I have nothing to um, hide or uh, I do want to cooperate. Do you stand by Boost? Oh yeah, Boost is a great program. We asked him if he stood by that comment today. Do you believe the Boost program was still a good program? I think at this point, until the committee members are we adjourn tomorrow, we don't have any comment. He's expected to testify again on Wednesday at 2 p.m. And when he's dismissed, the committee says they're not done. We have more. Um, we're looking at uh, bringing in some of the recipients in uh, just so that we can answer some of the questions the uh, secretary uh, could not. There's a lot of recipient, recipients that receive it uh, properly. Uh, they use it properly. Uh, we're not uh, bringing those uh, in. Um, but those that never uh, did anything with it, uh, I know there's a task force that's uh, from the, uh, I guess, the Secretary of Finance side that would look into that as to uh, what happened to the funds. They're also considering calling in former Governor Ralph Torres and his former Chief of Staff, Will Castro. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.